Aloha. My name is Sherelle Silva, and I'm the Senior Manager of Programs with Girl Scouts of Hawaii. I have the fun job of finding awesome program partnerships and local activities our Girl Scouts can participate in to earn badges and journeys. Our Hawaii Council is located on the island of Oahu and covers six main Hawaiian islands. I am born and raised on the beautiful windward side of the island where we have frequent rain showers to keep everything nice and green. I'm a lifetime Girl Scout member since 1988 and earned both silver and gold in such a great organization that taught me all about leadership and how to have fun. Today, we will learn about a popular cultural tradition in our islands. Some of you received this gift before and others have given this gift to family, friends, loved ones, and visitors. I'm talking about the Hawaiian lei. How do you make a Hawaiian lei? Let's make a tea leaf lei together. The tea leaf isn't a flower, but it is often used in lei making for its beautiful green leaves. The Hawaiian name is Lao Ki or Ki, and the scientific name is Cordyline terminalis. These leaves have a medium green color and are unscented. You might find red colored leaves too. They can be used by themselves to create a lovely traditional lei, or they can be paired with flowers to add color to the lei. Some items you will need to make your tea leaf lei is scissors and of course tea leaves. It will take about five large sized tea leaves to make one lei. If you have smaller sized leaves, you will need a few more to make your lei. The tea leaf is durable and will last about a week when it is kept cool. It can also be dried and kept for a longer period. To harvest your leaves, pull down firmly on the bottom leaf. And this will help keep your plant looking nice and will keep it growing. If you don't mind cutting the leaves, you may use pruning shears or sharp scissors if you don't mind getting dirty. This leaf symbolizes positive blessings, protection, and the creator. The tea leaf has been important to Hawaiian culture and royalty. They once wore these leis to display their status. The leaves were also used as medicine, used as both a fever reducer and a way to keep medicines in place. The first step is to debone your leaf. So the center of the leaf is hard and we're not gonna use this when we make our lei. So the first thing is, is to get rid of this center line that they call the bone. Using scissors, you're gonna cut along the side, just so you can get the leaf from your tea leaf. You're gonna end up with two pieces of leaf after you debone. So you're gonna do this for every single leaf that you've collected. After that, the bone can be discarded. It is believed that the tea leaf possesses healing powers and protects its wearer against evil. Next, we will need to get your leaves nice and soft so it will bend when making your lei. If it's not soft, you will hear cracking and might break your lei. There are four popular options to soften your leaves. First one is to boil them in water. Second option is to microwave them for about 20 to 30 seconds with a wet cloth wrapped around it. Third option, iron them on an ironing board wet, with a wet cloth over it. And the fourth option is place them in the freezer overnight. I prefer placing them in the freezer overnight. So once your leaves are softened, you're ready to start making your lei. Grab two leaves and tie the ends together. The trick to tying your knot is twisting your leaves to make it look like a rope. You can use a square knot or an offset overhand bend. I prefer the offset overhand bend, which is formed by holding your two leaf ends next to each other and tying an overhand knot in them as if they were a single rope. Here's what it would look like if you use a square knot to tie your leaves together. Once your two leaves are tied together, you're ready to twist your leaves, forming your lei. If you have a partner or friend available to help, have them hold the knot end while you twist your lei. If you're on your own, you can use a clothes pin or your toes to hold the knot while you twist the leaves. You're gonna twist your leaves in a clockwise direction. Both leaves rotate the same direction. So I have my assistant here holding me to help start off my lei. 
and you're gonna twist clockwise to your right and then once you get a few twists in there you're gonna start twisting your two ends with both leaves and you're gonna go right over another counterclockwise to your left so twist clockwise to your right individual leaves and then cross over to your left counterclockwise and that helps to interlock your leaves repeat this until you're ready to add another leaf to your lay so twist clockwise to your right and then rotate your leaves over to your left twist outwards and rotate over inwards so just remember the two leaves are going the same direction and then they twist over the opposite direction you've been twisting. Did you know Girl Scouts of Hawaii is the oldest council west of the Mississippi and the only council sponsored by royalty? Juliet Gordon Lowe founded Girl Scouts in 1912 with an emphasis on inclusiveness, the outdoors, self-reliance, and service. Just five years after Girl Scouting was founded in 1917, Girl Scouts of Hawaii began. Kamehameha School for Girls teacher Florence Lowe organized the first official Girl Scout troop in the Hawaiian Islands based out of Honolulu. At that time, there is a second group meeting in what is now Kaka'ako. The groups became Troops 1 and 2 with Queen Liliuokalani, the last Hawaiian monarch, as their sponsor. The Queen promised Troop 2 her personal silk Hawaiian flag, which is now proudly displayed in our Honolulu headquarters. So now that we got to the end of our first tea leaf, we're gonna add in the new tea leaves, as you can see here. You're doing the same thing and twisting that tea leaf in to the existing tea leaf. So that way you rotate and it brings character to your lay, having those two little leaves sticking out. See here, after you successfully add it in your second leaf, you're just going to continue with twisting until you reach your desired length. So when you keep on running out of your leaf, just add on a new leaf to your lei. Giving a lei is a great way to show our aloha spirit. Just like the word aloha that has several meanings such as hello, goodbye, and I love you, the word lei has several meanings too. Lei is translated as a wreath necklace or garland it's worn around your neck to give a lei as a symbol of friendship love or to celebrate or honor someone it's a way of welcoming someone home or saying goodbye it symbolizes the spirit behind the aloha a lei should be worn around your neck slightly standing on top of the shoulders the receiver should bow his or her head down and let the giver place the lei around his or her neck Today, the Hawaiian tea leaf lei is traditionally worn open-ended. When dry, the tea leaf is kept as a memorable souvenir. It is impolite to refuse a lei from someone, even a stranger. It should be an honor to wear it. So as you see here, I'm starting to run out on my second set of the leaf. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding the next set of leaves to my lei. And just keep about an inch sticking out and if at the end when you're done making your lay you don't really like those leaves sticking out you can always go back and trim them or cut them to a desired size okay so I just added in my third set of leaves and you just continue on rotating clockwise and then flipping the leaves over counterclockwise so just remember that the whole time you're doing this you're gonna notice that the tea leaf does get a little sticky because it's soft and it's um, the moisture is coming out so it's okay to go ahead and take a little pause and wash your hands um, but just be aware that it will get your hands a little sticky while you're making it lays are commonly seen at weddings graduations, celebrating an achievement, parties, school dances such as prom, 
a luau or greeting at our airports. According to legend, a visitor leaving the islands who tosses their lei into the water and has it float on the current to the shore will someday come back to Hawaii. A lei may include not only tropical flowers, but also seeds, leaves, vines, feathers, shells, nuts, and even animal bones and teeth. Every year on May 1st, Hawaii celebrates Lei Day. It's a special occasion for Hawaiians to make, wear, and give lei, and a fantastic opportunity for lei makers to showcase their incredible skills. Girl Scouts of Hawaii honors our veterans who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country during Memorial Day weekend in the month of May. We place an American flag and lay on each grave at the Hawaii State Veterans Cemetery in Kaneohe on Oahu. Girl Scouts on other islands do the same at their local veterans cemeteries. We collect and make over 12,000 lei for our veterans during Memorial Day weekend. If you would like to donate lei, please contact our council office. It can be artificial lei made out of yarn or ribbon and fresh florals such as tea leaves. On Saturday, May 23rd, Oahu troops will gather at Windward Mall to collect donated lei and make both fresh and artificial lei on site in preparation of our lei draping ceremony the following day at the cemetery. This year, we are asking for you to prepare lei in advance in case we are unable to gather at the mall to make lei together. We want to continue our annual tradition and still make enough lei to honor all of our 12,000 and plus veterans. Every lei helps us to reach our goal. As you start getting to your desired length of the lei, you're going to have to end it. And we're going to end it the same way we began it and tying it into a knot. So just remember, bring your leaves together like a rope and then do an overhand knot just like this and there you go your tea leaf lay is now complete great job share with us your tea leaf lay in the comments section i hope you learned something about our council in hawaii thank you for joining us aloha